of my 2022 Christmas Village full tutorial series. How many 20s in the last sentence? Anyway, uh, for once I will work most of the time in this room on my layout. Yes, I still need to build some little things, but not that much. I must uh, profuse all my efforts here, uh, digging, creating grooves, uh, uh, starting placing uh, the street lamps, uh, the power cords, trying to find some places for figurines. <laughs> this is big. This is between figurine, uh, figurine and uh, um, table accent, but I have plenty of them, bands, chorus, etc. They need to find a place. It's not that easy. Yes, I uh, still have plenty of space, but I needed to create micro scenes, so it will be very difficult. Then, then you may have seen some differences in the layout where during all the nights of the past week I moved around some of the buildings, and uh, but they are all there. All the ones you have seen me putting on the layout last time are there. I had also to renounce to say goodbye to one of the first things I made for this 2022 season, the Trident uh, Steampunk uh, street lamps, a couple of them that were on the side of the big main stair, the big main uh, round the stair there. But now, uh, where they were, I had to put two buildings, the uh, Lucy's Chocolate Shop and the Apothecary and the Pharmacy. So say goodbye to those street lamps effective as uh, steampunk street lamps but very huge very massive i and i will need to find a solution to replace them still don't know how when or if i will be able to do that uh, my effort during the past nights completing the figurines for the scriptorium. I can't afford having just three monks on a so huge, on a so huge building. So I made a six, eight, eight new figurines, modeled, <laughs> printed, painted. Still needed to apply some some gloss to them. Yes, forgot them. <laughs> Sorry, because. Uh, it needs to be populated. This scenes here needs to be much more populated. And I went with figurines from a very known book. Maybe I already told you. Yes, I told you last time. I will show you them. Uh, let's get to work.
let's build something. I still have one section that is completely isolated. I'm talking about the top left side, the top left residential area. It's not the highest level, I know it will be the North Pole section, but that uh, section, that corner, the top left corner, right now is isolated. With this will to be stair, I will grant access to it. It will be right here. Okay, no, right here. Okay, guys? And this will be placed on a corner. I will show you on the final recap. Uh, but it will also connect the, the level here, the top left level, to this level here that is the level with the frozen pond, the ice frozen pond and the bistro, etc. And also the bottom level here that is right now <coughs> the level with the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde statue. Always in the left corner, mm, it's a middle level, okay? I simply did assemble some styrofoam pieces here and there, not very, um, not very uh, precise as these will be in the corner and it will be uh, not visible, this side and this side will not be visible. And I also placed some of my rock paper here and I, I still can do that, okay. I don't care anyway, these will be higher than somewhere. Only the stairs will be visible right there in this point of view. Right now it is not a complete stair. And I thought, why not mixing my way of doing stairs, my way of thinking with Lamax way of thinking. Okay, guys, uh, here I simply black wash it, everything, and then two shades of grey. Very easy. Mm, you have seen me doing it many, many times. But this is 10 centimeters wide. Perfect for those little stairs, guys. I never, I have a bunch of them. I generally don't use them because they are uh, not good looking as they should be. I will explain why. Okay. This is composed by three pieces. It will allow you to climb up five centimeters because here you have five centimeters from this side or five centimeters from this side. It is uh, square, okay, 90 degrees, etc. Equilateral, I think. No, it is isolated. Uh, and then you can also place those little balusters in here with some flowers or mistletoe, I don't know. But this is 9 millimeters, no, 8 millimeters by 8 millimeters. Okay, not that good looking. Effective, yes, to climb very quickly and in the shortest possible depth, all the centimeters you need, but this is limited because this is only, f you can just go up in multiple of five centimeters. I don't think it's really eight millimeters. It's more, yes, 8 point something millimeters. Anyway, 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. If I place these little stairs right now like that, it will mix my way of thinking with Lamax way of thinking. It's not that bad if I project it. I will not glue anything right now, I will use some double-sided tape.
Now, uh, during the intro of this part 20, I told you that I had to say goodbye, ciao ciao, to a couple of trident shape uh, the steampunk street lamps. They are very large, very massive. They were supposed uh, to be placed on uh, the left and on the right of the big main rounded stairs. But with the new course of this layout, of the 2022 layout, I replaced them with a building and something else. So I still need some street lamps around the stairs. And I also told you that I wasn't sure on how to proceed. I had com a complete blank screen. Mm, no idea, no model in, um, to design, nothing. Nothing, nothing. Uh, around four hours ago, I was, what I was, uh, yes, I was applying the gloss on the monk's figurines that I will show you in just some minutes. Then it came, and I had to stop everything, go to my PC and start modeling. Then I took the SDL files and I sent it to, um, to the filament 3D printer. After four hours, those, that I will show you, those little things that are under my hand, just came out from the printer. This is the design, guys. It may resemble a couple of columns, maybe, maybe a couple of pedestals suitable for my steampunk statues also, yes. I don't know, maybe you remember that some more than a month ago I went to Peraga, my beloved, <laughs> my beloved, my preferred uh, Christmas department store. And there. I show you on the video um, some Louisville street lamps. This design is similar to them, but those ones are bigger, are massive, much more higher, much more wider. Okay, it is a square, much more wider. Yes, much more wider with this little uh, insert here that is nothing less than the shield. Uh, much more. Uh, thick. Victorian, obviously, yes. Still back, not yet. I don't think so. Those will only replace the thriving shape of Steel Punk Street Lamps. How? With the help of this hole here, those two holes. I also have here some PVC pipe, 8 mm in diameter PVC pipe, 11.5 cm long. And then I have, I have cut some of these plastic miniature street lamps. And they are from Amazon, those particular they are from China, from China. I received them in five, 10 days, 20. 11 days, no, 11 days, from China to Europe, 11 days was a record. And some more than a year ago, I posted a little tutorial, a very short tutorial, on how I get my street lamps, my Victorian street lamps, starting from this plastic, with no LED inside. So here I cut, here, the head, I disassembled them, because I needed the cap, somehow to be removed for inserting the LED. I have the chance that those street lamps have an hole all along in the middle, all along the pipe, the tube here, the pole. Then I also prepared a couple of LED pure, white, very bright LED with some long wires. I will assemble them in this way. I will show you then a quick what I will be doing. This inside here. Ok. 
okay not like that but I will need to do a better work than this then not entirely go through than this okay and this will be replacing those couple the, the couple of uh, tried and shaped steampunk street lamps i still don't know the outcome but any anyhow let's get those assembled i will also use some gaskets for this for this assembly one of these and one of these for each uh, street lamp. I use the same gasket to build my the columns for the scriptorium. Okay. Let me take. Uh, I don't have right now the shorter uh, ruler. I will go in this one. I will mark here. 4.5 centimeters okay then 4.5 centimeters oops there some super glue Okay, then this other gasket here, okay, okay. And this will be like that, okay? The base of my street lamp pole. Good. Starting point. So let's proceed step by step. I will use this one that I have already used. Good. I will need to use this one like that. And then Some more super glue. Now, let's replace the cap here. 
I simply painted the inside with some iridescent silver. This way the light will be reflected towards the bottom, okay? Because black will absorb completely the light. But if you use something reflecting, it will reflect the light. Okay. Now, okay, like that. I can't use some super glue right now because it won't glue with the Fila, the PLA, the PLA is super glue resistant. I will need to find a different solution. A different solution. Hmm? Yes, I have a different solution. Mm -hmm. Okay, my solution. Obviously, my five minutes um, epoxy glue. I will need to wait five minutes. But instead, I will just need to wait three seconds with resin for 3D printers. This is a water washable 3D printer resin it's pure grey and here I have a UV lamp let's try to do the magic I will get a little of resin And then I will switch on the UV lamp and do this three or four seconds, no more. Okay, and voila, stable glued. No problem, let's switch off the UV lamp and the resin is cured. Three seconds, guys. Anyhow, this, I know it is grey, but I will need to paint everything, so why not using this technique too? It is another technique. This is the principle of uh, a resin 3D printer resin and the lamp. In reality, it is a UV panel that projects lights, but you can achieve the same, uh, the same principle, the same physics with some resin and a UV lamp. And the first one is done. Okay, guys. 
let me do the second one then I will think about painting everything okay done so even resin can be compared or can be used as glue do they work? I hope so one Okay, uh, that's all I know. Let's talk about. Let's talk about the painting. Do I need to paint them? Yes, I need to paint them. Okay. So gray plus gray and the iridescent silver, black and the iridescent silver for the pole here, and then copper for the shields. Same thing here, gray and the iridescent silver, black and the iridescent silver for the pole, and copper for the shields. That's all for the street lamp, new street lamps. Just one thing before the end uh, okay guys one last thing before the final recap uh, I told you that I wasn't as satisfied having just three months around the scriptorium the scriptorium is huge and just three little monks is not enough so during the past nights I modeled six more monks, not five monks, and the peace. I was inspired by the name of the rose, the book from 1980, wrote by Umberto Eco, Italian writer. It has been a world success, miniseries, uh, movies. Uh, the most known movie is from 1986 with Sean Connery and Christian Slater. And I tried to model... <laughs> Guys, uh, uh, yes, I, I, I have on DVD the, the, the movie. I also read the book, obviously it is a little different, the book from the movie. But I uh, put the movie on and I model it looking at the characters, at the, at, the, at the actors, okay? And I will show you and I will tell you how exactly this is very steampunk or very Victorian for me. The name of, of the rose. You may think that it is the name of the girl, uh, of the peasant girl who, who have sex with Atso. No. The name of the rose is what wanted uh, Umberto Eco for in the title, as it is the last thing you remember from something very beautiful as a rose is his name. Anyway, it is even more complicated but I'm not here making to make a lesson of ancient uh, Latin the main character characters are Guglielmo and Azzo 
in English, William from Bakersfield. No, from Baskerville, sorry. Guglielmo da Baskerville. So, William from Baskerville. And Azzo. Okay, let me show you the monks more precisely. Guglielmo and Azzo. <laughs> Very similar to Sean Connery. Very similar to Christian Slater. A little overwhelmed him, a little frightened. He was a novice in the book. The name. Guglielmo da Vasterville. Just remember a book, The Arms of the Baskervilles, from Sir Edward, from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. It's a novel, it's a Sherlock Holmes novel. It, it has the same name as as it's very strange, but in fact, it is like having Sherlock Holmes and Watson. All along the book, it is Watson, it is Atso, that he, at, a, at an old age, that he is remembering what happened in that monastery in 1327. Plain Middle Ages, plain dark Middle Ages. All around a scriptorium, all around some books, and not murders, much murders. Watson, Sherlock Holmes, Atso, William from Baskerville. He has a book, he has a candle, and also a book because they were saying books. I painted all of them with the same color, but in fact, uh, it, it should have been different colors from those two and the other three because they weren't from the same um, branch of monks, okay? Benedict, uh, Benedictians and Franciscans, uh, Francis, Franciscans, I don't know, uh, sorry, it's almost 2 a.m., I'm a, a little tired. I also modeled some of the of the bases there. So William Azzo. Then the one of the antagonists it is Jorge. It is Jorge even in Italian. It is he is blind, so I haven't painted any eyes. Okay. With a red cap because it is heavy. It is the former librarian of the uh, of the um, of the scriptorium. The actual librarian from the book is Malachi, Malachia in Italian. I'm telling Italian names because the book is original in Italian. It is blind. It's uh, it's some books, especially the books that are comedies. He hates comedy. He is the killer. He is the killer. Helped by Malachi. Malachi is added because once he was the librarian, then Malachi is the librarian. So the power of the of the of the librarians, the evil the antagonist. That's why I think this is Victorian, this is um, Sherlock Holmes, because this is good, Watson and Sherlock, evil, the pure evil, Jorge. Then, one monk, Berengar, Flate Berengario, in Italian. He is the one who helps discover the truth, but by the end, he dies also. Because, I just remember you, 
it's known, I will not do a spoiler, it is a book from the 80s, a movie from the 80s. Here, the heavy Jorge poisoned the pages of the comedy books that monks had to uh, copy with some poison, with some arsenic. So, if a monk took the book to copy and read it, using the finger to turn the page, then use the thumb to have the finger uh, moist in order to turn the pages, each time a finger will be put in the mouth. Uh, on the, in the mouth, it will poison the reader. He hided the books, the comedy books, but somehow Berengar knows where he was hidden. He took it in past through some months, and in the end, he also started reading the book. He poisoned himself, not knowing that. Berengar, very famous. Then, one of my, the, my favorite one. This is Salvatore. Even in English, it has kept the same name. It is a little a, a monster, a little deformed. Uh, it is an heretic because it is a, um, not sorry, no. It is he is a Dolcinian from Dolcinio, Dolciniano. It is a Dolcinian. What, what were the Dolcinian? At, in that time, in 1300th century, who was in power in the church, supposed, no, uh, stated that the church need to be rich, need to get power of, uh, on, above everyone. Dolcinians uh, predicate the poverty as Francis also do, okay, also did. So, it's somehow an heretic here preparing to make a chicken sacrifice with his knife. Very strange, he speak Latin mixed with every European languages, very iconic monk of the entire book and in real life he, he existed because Umberto Eco wrote about things that really existed not to murder them but it really existed and he, Salvatore died burned from his heresy because it was church heretic against the rich church he was against the rich church. Last but not least, guys, I couldn't, I couldn't leave the girl out, the peace and girl, the poor girl. And it is she's miserable right now. That's why I modeled her. Uh, having problems with her hair, little insect in her hair, and also almost nude, almost just with a simple dress, even in plain winter. All the book is set in seven days in a week in plain winter in Italy. Simple dress, and she gave up herself for just some food with Azzo and she is not the rose but I try to model her very absent the look um, fixed the look looking nowhere uh, completely lost okay girl no name those are two, four, six. Then I couldn't resist to model some vessels with some liquid inside, just uh, painted with some 
uh, terracotta okay it is a mix of orange and pink but this is the disturbing one as in the book as in the movie a drone monk inside the vessel with simply the legs coming out of the vessel okay this is steampunk for me as everything from Sir, Conan, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is Victorian and steampunk even 500 years before Victorian era those monks were absolutely steampunk absolutely Victorian let's put them on the stage Final recap of part 20, guys, and it's 2 a.m. That's the new building there, the Caddington Conservatory Gardens, placed where I wanted it to be. I still have a spot free there in the corner for the last building from this 2022 collection. Everything is lighted up right now why i worked intensively in this line here all along this line here simply because it is the most inaccessible one i can access these buildings here with no problems i can reach those buildings there with no problems all that once except for the middle ones I cannot access, access easily those buildings and I cannot dig anything in the back there because I have simply nine millimeters of thickness than the railroad so it has been a little complicated the ice pond there the skating ice at pond working I've added uh, also a little uh, uh, location to ski so uh, rentals a little rental shop then the grooves guys I will need to go this way with the grooves I haven't closed it because I need to have also all the street lamps and the cords from the street lamps passing there I will I will be um, it is the only solution I can't dig anything on the back I need to dig there same problem I will have here, by the way, bye-bye the apothecary that was there because this is too massive. This is the only spot I will need to dig four centimeters then to place it there. There was the apothecary, it is back on the, on the box. So two buildings left out for this 2022 uh, village. The Lucy, they are still there. I was saying I will need to um, dig a groove all along in here uh, because it is the only way to get the power cords outside and get things there. I cannot go this way because I have nothing here. So all the cables, all the wires will go the opposite way. So I most probably need to, to elongate them. And nothing got changed in here. Oops, the stair there, like that. Except that maybe, maybe, but I'm not certain. I will need a space for this little guy here. This is Mad H. Nothing else, nothing but Mad hatter from alice in wonderland i started with alice there alice there and queen of arts there i finished my statues with math Hatter. <laughs> i must confess one of the comments asked me for something related to a christmas carol i'm working on it but it will be massive i will present that I will have the three ghost plus uh, um, Scrooge plus something else massive 
and gigantic. I will not be able to place it there somewhere, but I I I will do it. I will do it. Um, so Mad Hatter, maybe I will place him right here, right there, but I still don't know. And this is also inspired by something steampunk, like uh, an engine, like a cycle, like a motorcycle, like a, a rolling motorcycle, more towards the 2000 than a Victorian steampunk. But this is something also inspired by Man in Black, <laughs> to use this in Man in Black. But this has some very dangerous thief that um, hit the road, okay? Motorcycle, mad head, mad cycle for him. And I've tried to get the look of a mad. I don't know if I can show you, but... Oops. Yes, he is mad, absolutely mad with the top hat, with some gears, uh, and then here the cycle uh, made from uh, copper, an engine made entirely with copper. I'm not very satisfied with it because it is too big, but anyway. The street lamps, guys. One and two. Just finish them like that, and they are a little bended because I still needed to hide on in some groove the the wires, but I don't think they will be awful to be placed there. Um, I had problems with those big, big figurines or big um, um, table pieces because they are table accents, so they are table pieces. Finally, the biggest one is behind everyone. It will not prevent you from seeing what will be in the cavern, but it's just the way as it is. There are, there are some uh, table accents such as this one that can be placed at 90 degrees, at least 45 like that, like it is right now. But if I place it all along a wall like this, it will lose its purpose to show everything. The same thing goes with that uh, that uh, uh, big uh, snowman with all those kids making the, the, the snow. I tried, even tried to put it there in the corner. No, no, not, not there. I also tried to put the carrollers there because digging some space, it is exactly the same eight as these 12 centimeters here but it is at 90 degrees like that, it will lose everything. So I had to say goodbye to the Trident um, Steampunk Street Lamps, to the apothecary, to the pharmacy too. And please look at how beautiful is illuminated, switched on with all the lights on the Caddington Conservatory Gardens. Even those micro LED, it's not anachronistic. I like it. I don't know. Up to you to judge. Then the stairs, guys. The stairs are there. Look. I get access from this level here, up, up, up there. Then I want to go to the residential area up there. Yes, or here. I can go up through these stairs here. Let me show. Oops, I... I hurted myself, my knee is no more there. So you get access from, oops, sorry, from here, up, then once again, up. Then what I wasn't, I haven't shown you is these other stairs here that will uh, get access also to this system of stairs here. So this big stair here connect this residential one here at 90 degrees. So up, up, and up, with this level here, and then this other level here. So everything is now connected. The wine mill, the windmill, it was not there at the beginning of this video. It was right here in this corner. 
but with uh, but but um, having added these stairs here and the the mountain view lodge was 10 centimeters towards the wall so I had some space here for the windmill now it was very sacrificed so instead I will place the last building the corner apartments here the corner house here like that maybe in some shots you have seen during this video but now I have removed it because I still haven't reviewed it I, I already did the unboxing obviously because otherwise I wouldn't be placing it there I, I, I couldn't place it there but I still need to review it uh, Frankie is working correctly guys so I did some work not excessive amount of work but now it's getting really close to the end and I still need to place all the trees all the figurines and everything else uh, I haven't already connected there because I noticed before that it has some uh, some residual from the water some uh, that needs to be cleaned before adding the water but the fountain is working i forgot to clean it uh, before putting it away last january they are still skating so everything work la belle via will add some tables some scenes there i still need to add some scenes uh, and this is the overlooking here I just placed them like that but I really don't know precisely how this will come because I will need to place some little walls make some scenes adding some figurines but these two it are uh, it can only be placed like that all along a wall I cannot place it like that it will lose its purpose those are not real figurines, those are table accent to be displayed like that. But it was too beauty not to buy it. And then finally, all the monks there. Now let me get around, say hi to Freddy. Hi Freddy, how do you do? Uh, they are all performing well. It's the only thing finished. Let me place the camera in here if I can. And I will get around. Now all the monks are there with the habot there praying on the balcony, making some uh, nonsense uh, philosophical uh, speech on the balcony the the gua guard there here you have the guard hiding behind everything then on the corner guys you have Salvatore and Berenga here the vessels there I moved a little bit this big monster there that still need to be painted that it is the way in steampunk the steampunk way to make the fluid it is inside the vessel with the dead man there with the legs coming up there then the two antagonists so the good and the heavy William and Jorge there by the way I haven't shown you or maybe yes but I haven't told you that I had also last week those five more centimeters here to get more space to do something i still need to have some other figurines in here i, I can't just have uh, only monks there it's i will oops sorry i will need to have some other and so those five centimeters more are very useful i will add some canal fences here from the other side plum 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 atso and the girl i know uh it's a shame for the poor girl, but I wanted to be deep, have to be deep, depicted like that, very miserable on the floor, and also very frightened for her. 
those three guys here, singing guys, were on the opposite corner last time, but the three singing monks, this is original from Lamax, one of the rarest, one of the rare items I have nowadays like that original with original color most almost impossible to to find oops like that and then here the one that is serving something to drink to the singing monks those are strange monks because this is very the rest is very dark very victorian very steampunk they sing maybe it's a way of masking reality, okay? And with this, with all these monks here, this section here is finally completed. I will add some, uh, some villagers in here, some, I don't know. I, I still need to take out from the boxes all the figurines and then decide everything else. But it is there completed the scriptorium. It, it, it is a little different from the, from the scriptorium, from the name of the rose. Very different, but the scriptorium. Once I started building the scriptorium, it just came up to me the name of the rose. It is Victorian, it is steampunk, it is everything. Scriptorium. Monks, Abbot, Hevel, Good, Steampunk. So uh, then I also play, I also moved Oliver. They are still playing, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm so done, but at 2.20 a.m., guys. 2.20 a.m. Oliver, I put it there. It will not prevent you from seeing the Nutcracker shop, but I am trying to manage to have the statues in the middle between two buildings in order not to hide anything from the view because they are taller than figurines. So I'm trying to do exactly that, to place them like Mary Poppins between two buildings, even if I, I, it is too, too near to the... Alice, but for now it's there. I don't have statues there or there. The the um, the scriptorium is isolated from the the statues, but maybe a statue there, and then on the residential area up there. Uh, I'm a little tired, guys, but this is. This is the end of the final recap of part 20 of the 2022 series. Penitenziagite. Penitenziagite would have said Salvatore from Monferrat if he was here. Do penance, make amend for the richness of the church in that case for not having yet completed my work in my case, and also for not having done exactly what, what I told you in the intro. I still needed to have some rock paper places. I haven't done that. But the only thing completed is the circus. No, also the scriptorium. Still need to place some fences and it will be done. And you, you haven't noticed, but I still miss two walls. It's for next time. I'm a little tired. Uh, we have just seen the watch there. It is saying 2.30 a.m. I think. 2.35 a.m. I'm tired. I'm sorry for being so late. I still I will need to edit this. But before, let me have something to eat. Please, don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English, and see you next time, but only if you 
really wish. Penitenciagite.